Good morning, you beautiful people. Welcome to Fish with Fish. Uh, we're on our way to Furnace Mill this morning. Spartacus, my wingman's over here. Morning, folks. Morning. Oh, morning. Morning, So, yeah, we're on our way. Uh, shut up. Shut up. The uh, sat nav's telling me which way to go because I've, obviously I've not been here very often. Um, but uh, no, looking forward to it today. Uh, there's a couple of lakes available. We're fishing on a Sunday again. Uh, there's a couple of lakes available, which means uh, better chance of fishing than we've got at a lot of places, to be honest. Um, tried a few, all packed, but uh, Furnace Mill is a great option anyway. So uh, looking forward to it. Um, and, uh, We'll see you when we get there. Boom. Just giving this a try, change the float. I've got a 0.4 gram with a bulk in between, halfway between the float and the hook. I wasn't happy with the bite indication on the other float because it was just like a bubble float. What I was looking for is the bite indication, especially being in the margin, I need to see like more sort of indication like the float dropping down and stuff like that. There we are. I don't know what we've got in here, it's nothing big. More of a chap though. Yeah, it's a little cool. Just as a bit of clarity guys, I'm on peg eight of the furnace pool, which is the just as it opens up into the locker, I call it a bowl really. Uh, down this bottom end. It's almost like a canal. That sounds good, Dad. It's almost like a canal lake, um, and then it opens up to almost a like what would you call it? Like a marina, a basin. Sounds like Spartacus is into an half decent fish. You got him, carp. So that is just touching, just touching bottom. So every movement is a fish. There we go. A bit too keen. So what we're gonna try guys. I'm gonna try a pink neons. Fuca. I've laid a, a base of my crows down. I'm having a bit of difficulty with the, them taking the, the meat. 
So let's try this Fuka two there. Bear in mind, I've had these almost a year and a half now. So, I'm not even going to squeeze that one. So, let's see. Any indication? First time with the pink neons. Let's have a look, see what's happening. See if there's anything down there interested. bit better guys not much better but a little bit better I'd say it's another breed maybe not First carp of the day. Well, not true carp. Well, it's an F1 in it, so. Guys, over the net. Let's get him back in. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Let's have another look. There's a bit of crows over the top. I'm going to shorten this lash, I think. As soon as I am so close here. Right, here we go. There we go, guys, on the pink nouns. I'm calling, uh, I would say, this is a, an F1 small car. Checking in there though. Bit of my clothes down there, keep them down there. He does like this here. Yeah. 
Kopej. Could be a tinge. No, it's just a, just a clever carp. I've only got an 8 to 10 green silk on. So, although I can handle most fish on it, it does give you a decent fight, when, even when they're little like this. We've got a bit of latitude. So, there you go. Top lip. There he is. Let's get him back in, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, that was on the pink neons. Let's try another one. I'll try the pink again, because I know they work. I've got to say, I think they're probably, probably my favourite colour. That and the orange. That's why I've got less of these left than I have the the red and the, I'm sorry the white and the yellow. Seems to have a fair few of them. Another pink neons. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do down here. Another pinch of micros. Let's pull that up. Let's see there's a fish there straight away. I do need to shorten this lash. I think what it does, what the, the, the few could do, especially the neons, they uh, weed out those really small fish. Just gonna lift. Oh, see, I'm, I'm saying I'm just gonna lift this, but oh, let me just lift it slightly. Drop it. I'm over. I mean, I was over depth there, really. That sells a little, little skimmer. And a few kidney arms. Pink. Alright. Top of the lip again. There he is, guys. Let's get him back in. I'm going to try the, try the orange this time. Put two out of the tube, throw one in for luck. And I'm putting it through the middle this time. Through the middle of the disc. And roll it on. Not giving it a squeeze or anything like that. Got a bit of rogue elastic down the other end. There we go. Alright, so. Microbes. Oh, 
That was instantly, guys. My crows. I do need to shorten that lash. I think I'm possibly too deep there. So I'm gonna lay it down and bring that back in a touch. That's better. I meant too shallow out there, I mean that's what I mean. Well, it's called fishing. Uh, what I didn't do when I had that bream was clear the, the hook length of bream snot. Let uh, go orange again. As I say, what I'm doing is I'm going through the disc on these all the way around. Point showing, not squeezing. I still haven't shortened the lash. I'll do it on the next one, I promise. Your microbes. Me missing the bites of this guys, that's nothing else other than that. My only excuse is the lash should be shorter, but that's my own fault. Yeah, we're in again. This feels a little bit different, a little bit crazy. Oh, a little stocky. Beautiful little fish. Again, guys, hooks in the middle of the top lid. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap over to Bish Camp so that we've got uh, some more action stuff.
Welcome back to Bish Camp. We're on the, the Fuca, on the orange, orange neons. Right, had a little bit of success. Had a couple of carp on it. A bit of random elastic sticking out there. Right, so. Obviously, a bit of interest there. That bit of greenery there was from the fish before. Showing off, going through all the edges. And there we are, we're in again. Let's get past that. It's showing off. Oh, a lovely little fish. Oh, let's get him in. Lovely crewy. Oh, lovely, lovely crewshin. There he is. See the, the hook's in the right place. Top middle. Let's get rid of that. Look at him, guys. Beautiful fish. Dark fins he's got there. Right, let's get him back in. <laughs> Loving it. Absolutely. Oh, what have I done here? Right. Well, the Fuca seem to be doing it. So, let's try uh, a pink this time. I don't, I don't know why. I'm going to try the white and the yellow in a minute. But I think if you've got the white, these are so different to what they see. I just think that these are the ones. So, through the middle of the disc, so it comes out the other side. I am going to give this one a little bit of a squeeze because I've split it. Alright, so. Just on my top kit now, but it's uh, it's a double top kit, so it's a good seven foot. Uh, sorry, six foot, I think. So here we go. Right, let's see how quick the action is on this. Well, that was pretty quick. There we go, and again. I can't even remember what colour I put on. Pink, I think. Let me just shorten this lash. I keep saying it, and I don't do it. We're in again. This is all. Oh. This is such good fishing. Good fishing at Furnace Mill. Oh, and the hooks come out. Let's have a look at him then. As soon as the hooks come out. Oh, he's a miserable little sod, isn't he? Look at him. Put me back. Beautiful fish. And we. Well, as I said, I am going to try, I'm going to try yellow this time. There's a few there. Mm. Try this in the centre of the disc. There we go. I'm not squeezing it or anything. And there we go. Pinch of micro. Oh my god, we're in again. Pinch of micros. 
Let's get him out of there. Same again. About the same size of it. A uh, bit of a shoulder, these guys, I think. Again, top middle of the lip. And there he is. Well, the yellow are working as well. Should we try the white? Might as well rotate. Whoa. These are, as I say, these are year and a year and a bit old. These are now. Right, I'm going to squeeze this one. It's pretty soft. Right, let's try a white. Um, am I going to have time to? Squeeze my crows. Oh, that was me being a bit, a bit premature there. I was being a bit keen. <sighs> I pulled that out of his mouth, and I felt him on. Idiot. Right. This is what it's all about, guys. This is trying different things and trying different venues and meeting new people. I had a brilliant conversation today with the lady from from here. I think her name is Jane. We were talking about um, they've got a lovely cabin here, it's positioned on. Um, I don't know what that, I think it's called, I don't know what the lake's called up there, on the other side of the, what's it, but it's got an absolutely stunning view of the lake and we're talking about, it's not just fishermen that that, uh, to, that go there either, she had a bunch of ladies last week and they had an absolute wonderful time. It's like an Airbnb almost. Look at that. Go on. Oh. Wow, guys, that's that's just great stuff, isn't it? Really. Well, I've got I've got a pink and some yellow out here, so I'm just going to put them on. Uh, let's try a pink first. Yeah. Um. And uh, she was telling me. Um. Just how well it how well it's done this year, I suppose. But a staycationing. Uh, it must be the same all over. It must be the same at White Acres and. Oh, come on, bitch, you idiot! It's oh, half a sandwich that I've got left. I'm saving. As a special treat. Right, continuing to put a base of micros down. I just feel that the, the fish are far more comfortable over a small bed of either micros or ground bait or With bigger chunks in there for them to pick up, and obviously with the bigger chunks, you want one of them to be your be your bait. I think I've dropped that on somewhere that I probably dropped it on a a root or something. So I'm just going to move it. I, yeah, felt can feel right there. There we go. As soon as you put it in the right place. Get the right response. There we are, and we're in again. Oh, now what's is this a chub? I think this is one of the species I was gonna 
go back onto maggots for. Yeah, I think so. Little chub. What is it? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a chub to me. I don't know though. Beautiful fish though. Lovely silver and red. Right, let's get him back. Hook came out. Right, we've got a couple of yellows here. A couple of yellow for you, okay? Right, I'm gonna... They've been sat in the... What's it say? They've dampened up, so they're even softer than they are normally. They've been sat in with the micros. Let's have another look on the Fuca. This is an impromptu um, Fuca video. It's not one that I'd planned or anything, but I always carry them with me because they work, to be honest. But like with any other bait, They don't work all the time, but they do work a lot of the time, and it's uh, it's something that I have in my arsenal of baits. It's my go-to soft, soft pellet, if you like. Great fan of the neons. I like the the micros. Yeah, there's a fish there. I like the micros, and I like the. The two in ones, but the neons are my favourite. And we're in again. There we go. It's very warm today. It's not as warm as they said it was going to be. Where's he gone? Come out of there. What we got going on here? Oh, tench. There we go. Tench on the neons now. Come on. Beautiful little bar of soap. Again, top middle of the lip. Let me just use the net to hold him. Oh, you knock him. There you go, there's that miserable look, guys. There's that miserable look, but look at the beautiful eye. Lovely fish. Alright, let's get him back. And we. Right, what a lot of fun this is. Right. What you got, Dad? The Titanic. You're bringing it up from the depths. This is great fun, this is. I'll fish a chuck now, me. Alright, yellow neons. Been sat in with the more across this. So, so it's a bit of that moisture up, so they're even softer. It's like, um, it's like really soft paste. Pinch of, pinch of micros, as I say, I think the fish feel far more comfortable over a bed of food. Here we go. There again. This is a yellow one this time, the neons. What I might do is go and see how... I'm gonna go and see how, what what's it's up to. I'm coming over, Dad. Take your time, son. Take your time. All right, where's your? No, he ain't bad, is he? Yeah, let's have your, let's have your net. Oh, he's gone. Sorry, Pop. Ready? We got him this time. Oh, Dad. What a lovely fish. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, let's just look at that, guys. What was that under? Maggie. Maggie. Yeah, on your lap, son. Let's see him smack your face. Well, yeah, I got the net. I got the net. I got that. Welcome back, guys. You saw that fish, Dad, just that. What a cracker. What well, did you have it on, Dad? Maggots? Yeah. Had that on maggots. I'm just about to put the Fuki yellow neon back in. Oh, oh bite straight away. Oh, bloody took it. It's a problem about when they do go soft like that, if you sort of. Because they're already moist in this heat today, it's a. Uh, they said it was going to be about 28, it's not 28, it's probably about 24, 25, which sounds brilliant after the, after the what's it we've had, doesn't it? So, um, so I'm going to get a couple of orange out. How many have I got there? Six. I'm going to just place them on there, take them one at a time, disc through the middle, and there you go, you see that. As I say, orange and pink are my favourite, and I have no particular reason why they're my favourites, but they just are, because you've seen the white and the yellow catch as well, I just like the bright colours. <laughs> Right, there we go on the orange. I've stopped feeding anything else now, except for micros. I'm not feeding any fuca bait at all, just got the neons on the hook. Oop. I'm a bit caught up on a bit of weed there. Alright. So. Here we go. I still haven't shortened the lash. I promise I'll do it after this fish. No. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Next fish. Again, this feels a little bit better, maybe. Yeah, it's a little bit better. He's a little bit angrier. Some of these little fish have got the right sort of attitude on them. Uh, I do believe this could be. It's another tench. Some lovely tench. And you had the tench, Dad? Looks yeah. like the... Mm. Interesting. Dad's not had any brain. Or any... Or any tench. Right, there we go. Just get rid of that off the hook length. As I say, I, I just have this, it's probably nothing, but they produce it for some reason, the slime. And I just think to myself that it's a it's a warning to other fish. So if you've got slime on your, if you've got slime on your line, then the other fish are going to be warned. There you go. Look at those beautiful scales in the sunshine. Right, let's get him back. Let's throw the micros out. Let them drop a little bit and follow it in with this. Keeping the line straight. Someone's picked that up straight away. Let's save the I guess I'm only putting my crows in now with my 
with my bait the only true bait going in. It means that the trap is set every time if they want something to eat, basically. Keeping the line straight between the, the float and the pole end. Pick that up on the way down then. Lovely little roach. Beautiful little roach. Well, and these neons are going on a size 14 hook, which is, seems to be the perfect size to be honest. Again, through the centre of the disc. I'm not going to squeeze this one. So, let's put a few more crows in and follow it down with a and the ones. So let's pick that up straight away. Someone's already got that. Yeah, that is either just trying to touch bottom. I think it is, it's trying to touch bottom there, it's a bit deeper there. But there's someone just nibbling at it. Change. I like in these nouns, aren't they? The change. It's only a little fella. Look how little he is. Tiny way, no. Perfectly full. Right, let's. And away. Doing a big circle. Don't know where he's going. This is a bit better. This is a bit better. What I'm going to do 
Well, I've got this fish on. I'm going to feed. Because I think it'll probably take me a while to get him in. This beautiful fishery. Furnace mill. Great for families. There's a guy over there with his young lad. They're having a great time. Guys with experience as well. There's a guy to the right of me. He's having another brilliant day. Obviously me and Dad are down here on this. I'd want to call it a basin. I think this is the furnace pool. Still not seeing it. I'm calling a carp, obviously. Be nice if it was a big, massive tench, but I don't think it is. Feed again. Just the micros. I think I've got one on and all. Did it come off? Decent one this is. <laughs> Decent car on the orange neons, guys. As I say, I don't do anything special. It's patience, it's building. I, th I think the trick, if there's a trick, is you have to build the swim. I started off with maggots down there and microbes, and then you saw I had a few on meat down there and then I tried the, the neons and got the bite straight away and then you stop feeding anything else then you just do your micros, pinch your micros I just said right, I don't want him to go into that swim I don't want him coming over here coming over here come on Stay in deep this one. Put a few more. We've got one on one neons there. I'll throw that in with them. I'll have a go with the pink I think. Right. As I say, it's only an 8 to 10 green silk, matrix green silk. This is my go to, my favourite, my favourite elastic. But if these are the guys that have turned up, I'm going to swap over to the yellow, yellow solid. Get out of that swim, you bugger. Oh, there's loads of fish just moved out of that swim. Got a decent sized fish on Dad, and he's just gone straight through the swim. Just seen all the fish move. I'll throw some more micros down while he's doing his stuff out here. He's showing off. Just doing the big circle thing now he is. Nice fish. Nice fish. No, Dad. Biggest I've had today, but he's, you know, it's not huge. But he's, as I say, he's just swam straight through.
I don't manage to get his head up yet. He was going a bit quiet and then I changed a couple of things and all I'm feeding now is micros and with a what's it on the hook with the neons on the hook and it just it's a fisher chuck and they're getting bigger seems just doing that circle thing yeah. well, he's doing a figure of eight now it's showing off now <laughs> he's as well he's doing a <laughs> he's doing a figure of eight It's lovely. I've, I've just been saying on the, the camera because that, that bit there is like a canal. This is almost like a basin. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where the boats had turned. It's where I'm fishing. Just there. You're catching on any, anything you put in, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Save the maggots. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it's common. Yeah, common. There he is, he's, he's going to get his head up, oh he's just took a gulp, just took a gulp of air, there he is, just took another one, and another, and another, and there we are, and his eyes. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is, in a minute I'm going to lift this, the bar up, there we are. Oh guys, the hook's come out. I'm not going to bother picking them up. You can see them down there. They're the size of my hand compared to them. Lovely, lovely fish. Great condition. Let's get him back. And away. Away. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.